Hi guys, today we're going to look at another Brother Scan and Cut Canvas tutorial. Um, we've had a lot of people writing in asking about making, actually making their own patterns on the Scan and Cut Canvas rather than importing SVGs. And we're going to have a look at a few different techniques you can use today to uh, do a little bit of object manipulation to allow you to create some yourself. Uh, I'm going to make a flower in a little flower pot today, just to give you an idea. Um, so away we go. Right, our, uh, our first point of call, I'm going to take a hexagon, I'm guessing. And we're going to look at changing this into a flower pot. Now I know at the minute it looks absolutely nothing like a flower pot, but we'll uh, have a look at doing that. So we'll start with the basic shape. Now what you need to do is you need to hover your mouse over that and you need to double click. Now this brings up what are called control points. You've got a little option for your control points as well here. Um, at the minute it's, you've got a lot of just very symmetrical handles. You have the option to add points. If you wish to add one, you just you can individually select different lines and add points you can remove points etc but what we're going to look at for today I'll just get rid of that and start over is the points that are, that are already there more than anything you have a lot of looking at your open and closed outlines and you're adding and deleting points in other videos but just for the moment We'll have a look at how we are going to manipulate this shape using the current available points. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take this top centralized point. I'm going to drag that down here a little bit. And then I'm going to drag this one up here a little bit and this one up here a little bit. I'm trying to keep them symmetrical but honestly it's crafting. Things don't have to always be symmetrical. We like things a little bit funky. So if we then click off this you can see obviously it's no longer a hexagon it's now well I like that sort of plant pot shape I know it doesn't have the, the rounded top if you wanted to add a flat top onto your plant pot you always can do I like this little dippy in bit so we'll start with that now what we're going to look to do is I'm going to take a square drag that into my uh, canvas over here and I want to make this into a stem so I'm going to shrink it down to about stem size so there we go we've got a plant pot and we've got a stem I know at the minute obviously these are overlapping and it doesn't look great but we will we will look into that in a moment now we're going to take a circle the circle is not going to be used really it's just used more as a reference point at the moment for our next creations so now what we'll do is we'll take another circle but with this one we want to shrink that down so it looks a little bit like a petal okay now if we have our first petal there and we go into edit and copy and then paste you obviously see you get an exact replica of that initial petal now if we take this top green, this green circle, this allows us to rotate our object in any direction that we want. So what I'm going to do is rotate that one and place it there. And then again if you go into edit and paste, that will again let you do this. Now for those of you who are slightly more technically minded, if you then hold down shift key on your keyboard, it will allow you to select multiple objects don't worry if you can't you can have the petals individually and things like that but for those of you that are a little bit more we can now copy and paste again and as you can see we have three flowers now with multiples if we're looking to move these uh, we will go and edit and group those ones together and spin it round now as you can see we've got three more petals and again if we edit and copy the group selection and paste that that will give us another three already pre-grouped petals just makes things a little bit faster if you don't if you don't know about copying and pasting there's there's millions of 
tutorials out there for how to copy and paste it's it's just control and C and then control and V on your keyboard or you can do it on on obviously the edit button in the canvas itself so I'm gonna keep doing it via this edit button just so you guys can get the hang of everything and I'm gonna put those ones there and we'll put our final ones here now as you can see there you have what kind of looks like a really 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 big flower <laughs> with many really 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 big petals um, what we're going to look to do now obviously is as I said we've got all these overlapping lines it looks not like the greatest flower in the world so what we're going to do now is going to choose edit and select all to highlight everything that we've got here and if we then choose weld this will as it says join or weld the pieces together to create one one object so if we click that you'll see you've now got your flower pot, your stem, and the petals. As I said, the circle has inevitably disappeared. Now that would be the ideal background for making an initial embellishment for a card or something to add in a memory album or anything that you want really. If I now shrink that down and then take this, we can look at the ways of building this object up. So we can initially add a centralized petal to the flower. That will obviously look on a different colored card to give you a different colored shape. You can look at adding little things like this where you have a little line going across. So you've got a little flower part or let's have a look. We could delete that and we could add a logo. I don't know if there are any gardening logos. I'm sure we'll soon find out. I would say summer is the sort of time I enjoy you going on, and maybe spring or summer. So if we take spring there and we shrink that down again to, it's going to have to be a relatively small size on your map for this flower. And we do that. What we now have the option to do, if you wanted a flower for spring, is you take your edit and select all those doors then what we would inevitably be able to do is if we choose remove overlap and then we click on spring again we're able to move that out and we click on our circle again we're able to move that out now we are able to delete both of these either by via this way or just by selecting them and pressing delete on your keyboard and now you have a flower with an embedded spring so it will cut out the word spring into the center of the flower it will cut out a circle in the center of your flower and obviously you're able to add little things as you go along you can add extra petals extra things like that on top of it just to make it look prettier and obviously cut those out in separate colors and you, you'll be able to build it and build it and build it to make your exact design so that's a tutorial that gave you a, a brief overview of things like are if I can get it to come up, there we go. Our control points are the ability to weld, the ability to remove overlaps, and obviously copying and pasting multiple shapes, grouping, etc. So, I hope that gave you an idea of how to make some basic designs, guys. Uh, if you have any questions or anything that you're particularly struggling with that you're looking to make, feel free to leave a comment either on our blog at brownwellsblog.blogspot.com uh, on obviously our YouTube comments um, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you very much guys, have a nice day.